And so we are the Rohrbach family, and we had to flee in order to save our lives. We fled east, and we were gone for two days when we heard that the battle was over and we came home. My husband immediately went to the barn to see if any of the animals were left, and my granddaughter and I came to the house. The house was so full of wounded men, we could not get in the door. We actually had to climb through the window in order to get into our home. It was a terrible, terrible thing that happened here. The food was all gone. Uh, I was able to find a few string beans that I had dried in the drying house uh, late summer. And we have that. We have a few apples. The animals, even the wild animals are gone from all the fighting, all the gunpowders and, and the cannons going off. There is nothing left. So my husband, who has some cousins who live near Smithsburg, walked to that area and was able to shoot some squirrels. So we're having a squirrel stew tonight. Also, he was able to get a few apples. There are some wonderful apples in apple orchards in Smithsburg area. But we had beautiful apple orchards here. And they were completely destroyed. Not just the crop, but the trees as well. So we're having a, uh, some fried apples that he was able to get in Smithsburg. With a few ingredients, we could make some biscuits. And so we're having some biscuits. This is not our normal, traditional Christmas meal. But we are so thankful just to have this. Because we're not quite sure how we're going to get through the winter with such little food. We had a beautiful farm. And we had this wonderful stream going through the farm. And had a, our beautiful, beautiful stone bridge. In fact, it was called the Rohrbach Bridge because of our farm being right next to it. And now we've heard rumors that they're going to even change the name. We understand that some famous guy who fought in this battle, Burnside something or another, is going to have the name, our name taken off the bridge and his name put on. So uh, my husband has a twin brother, Jacob, who lives in Sharpsburg. Uh, his house was hit also. So and he's having a lot of problems with dealing with what's going on. So we will probably have to sell our farm if we can find a buyer. And we will move in with his twin brother and we will pull our resources together in order to make it through. We do have one bright spot though in our life. We have a beautiful granddaughter, Ada. Our wonderful daughter, Jane, died last month from this fever that's around. We really feel the soldiers are carrying it and have brought it to this area. Maybe you've heard of it, typhoid, typhoid, or something like that. Well, our dear daughter died last month in November. And in October, she gave birth to a beautiful little girl. And the baby died soon after because of the fever. But we're so pleased and proud to have our wonderful daughter, Ada, because she is the future. As we all know, the children of our, in our lives are the future. And so we look to them and realize we will find our way out of this because we have our beautiful children.